What's up guys, my name is Abdel Nafe. Welcome back to a brand new video. And I was recently working on this project, this animation of this keyboard. And a lot of people were asking me how I did the lighting of this and they were asking for like a lighting breakdown. So I thought I'd just make like a short video just showing you guys how I did the lighting of this, right? Um, so it's actually a pretty interesting setup. You can see that we have a key light. Um, we have some rim lights at the background, which sort of just highlight the shape of this keyboard. And obviously we have some fill lights as well. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm actually gonna be lighting all the lights first. So we can like add the lights one by one to really see what they're doing in the scene. So you can see we started off with a completely black scene. Um, you can go to word properties and just set your color to black because we don't want like any uh, background light to sort of affect our scene, right? Um, the first light that I added was basically a light right here. Um, and actually, I'm going to hide my camera just so we can like see better and just like declutter our viewport. Um, you can see that this light is basically against um, the camera. So the camera is somewhere here pointing to this direction. And so this light is basically sort of like our key light. But at the same time, it's on the opposite direction of the camera. It's not like um, it's not from the direction of the camera because we really want to highlight these shadows um, and these keys. So to highlight those, we added the light on the opposite direction, right? Um, the second light that I added, actually not this one, um, this was like area light four. This should be the second light. This is basically a fill light. Um, and you can see if I delete this, you can see that the shadows are just darker and it just makes the shadows a little more sort of like subtle and a little more, you know, manageable. Um, so I think at this point, the image starts looking pretty good. The main problem that we're facing at this point is that there's really nothing separating um, the object and the background, right? Especially at the bottom, you can see you, you can't really tell where the object ends and where sort of the background starts. So it's really like confusing, right? So for that, we, I added two rim lights, basically. The first rim light was this one. This is basically a light which I placed like right under the keyboard. Um, now, obviously, if you're making an animation, you probably wouldn't want to do this because from the bottom, it wouldn't look as good. Right. But from this angle, you can see that it looks pretty, pretty decent. Right. You can see that it really highlights the shape of the keyboard. If I hide this, it doesn't highlight the shape of the keyboard. If I if I unhide this, you can see that it really separates the keyboard in the background. But then I also wanted some like extra lighting, extra rim lighting effects on like these sides. So I added another light, basically. Um, this light right here, which is basically just this light duplicated. I just reduced the size of it in um, in the Y axis. And I just like rotated a little bit just to highlight these parts a little more. So this is the before and this is the after. I think it just makes it look a little better. Obviously, the difference isn't much, but you know, it's something, right? So um, that was basically our lighting setup. Now, if you want to, um, let's say, add some more interesting effects to the background, I'm also going to show you how to do that. Uh, so what you can do is you can basically click add mesh and then just add a plane. Um, and actually, I'm going to go to the side view, rotate the plane. Basically, I'm actually going to unhide the camera first because we want this basically this plane to like be perpendicular to the camera because you want it to be like sort of like the background and just place it right there. Scale it up. And now what we can do is we can add um, a light and that can just be a point light. And then we can just place this point light on this uh, just very close to this um, plane. And you can see it adds sort of like a gradient um, vignetting effect to our scene. Um, now, obviously, you can tweak this as well. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the radius. So the higher your radius is, obviously up to a point, it's going to make your uh, make your lighting more smooth. But obviously, if it intersects with um, the the plane itself, then it's going to give you this effect, which doesn't look good. Like it's going to give you this hard lighting effect. So I'm just going to move it back like that. And I can see it's pretty smooth, the lighting in the background. How do you control this lighting? It's pretty simple. You can basically just select the plane, go to the materials tab, add a new material, and then you can basically just change the color of this material, something like that. Um, if I make it like really dark, something like that. So you can see that that looks much more interesting than, you know, maybe something like if I select this plane and hide it, you can see that this looks pretty black. Uh, the background is pretty like, you know, just dull. It's like completely black. This adds more sort of like, you know, it, like it just makes the background look more interesting, in my opinion. Again, all this is personal preference. Um, and yeah. So yeah, that was the very simple lighting setup that I wanted to show you. Obviously, you can also control the color of this. You can tweak the color, make it whatever you want. I think that looks much more interesting, honestly. Uh, so something like that. 
maybe a little more because especially because um because our product is like just black and white right it's actually it's actually like a lot of times it's actually good to like add color to the background to just make the image pop more and yeah so that's what we did now if you want to learn how to make this whole scene from scratch and also how to make an animation of the scene so you can see that this whole animation um it's pretty noisy right now but you can see uh if you want to make this, this whole animation from scratch you can see that we have these sort of scenes and we have like a um, explorer view animation of the keyboard if you want to learn how to make all these scenes you can check out my course the link is going to be in the description um, and in that course we're going to be making three realistic product animations one of them would be this keyboard right here and we're going to be covering all the steps from importing the models lighting the scenes texturing um, and animating rendering uh, post-processing all that stuff uh, from scratch so if you want to take your product animation skills to the next level check that course out and yeah thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next one goodbye